people, brothers and sisters. Now, I ordered a, um, I was sent a hamper from Marshall and Brown last year, I think it was. It could have been the year before. Brothers and sisters, I was blown. This is the hamper that I saw. Data here, licking shop, pump, bubble, alarm, advice, and peace. M and B. Yeah, Marshall and Brown just delivered their um, hamper. It's looking crispy. Look, look as, I, as I turn it round, you see this. This is quality. Leather straps. And I, as I open it, I've only just opening it. Look. Go on, Rastafari. Literally, he's got the chains. I can smell the leather. It's looking good. It's come with, yeah? Marshall and Brown, black owned company, brothers and sisters. Come on, man. And as, come, 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 the man, come, the man. As I literally open it up here, what do we see here? Come on, man. Wow. Oh my gosh. Marshall and Brown, handmade chocolates. Gee whiz. Oh, it's, 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 it's kind of, I, I may try and open it. Handmade chocolates. Jeez. Yeah, collection of different handmade chocolates. But check out this. Yeah, Jamaican rum cakes. Yeah, different, different styly. Key line. Oh, gosh. And I'm a cake man. Um... Which one's this one? Coconut rum cake. Come on, man. We're looking at chocolate Jamaican rum cake. Cheese! Licking shop pond Babylon with rice and peas. And not even a buffalo soldier. Jamaican rum cake. Banana. Now you're talking. Now you're talking, baby. Yeah? And Rastafari to the highest degree. Gonna open this up, and these are the oh the jerk seasoning. You know it goes. It's got it's got it's got. Mm, even smells good. Oh what! A, and then you know, look, this can be reused. The hamper can be reused. Let's have a butcher's baby. Come on, baby. Jerk house Jamaican crushed yellow Scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Rasta man speaking now. Jeez. Oh, it's just too much. What a hamper. What a hamper. And for those of you that like the, um, what's this? What's this? Jerk barbecue sauce. Come on, man. Kwanzaa cannot be Kwanzaa without this. Licking shot. Yeah, you done know. Buller cake. Buller, no, there's no buller cake in there, but I'm just saying buller cake. Yeah. Rice and peas. Cheese and bread, blouse and skirts. So we're looking at jerk sauce. Jerk sauce. So See the maroons, man. We're going back to the maroon days, man. Whoa. 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 Come on, man. What a hamper. You telling me you're not gonna support black black owned businesses with quality like this? Man ain't trying to ting. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, all from Jamaica. Appleton Estate, Jamaican rum. Now, I don't drink. You understand that, King. But it's good to be supporting. And look at this, man. Go and give it as a gift or something. You know what I mean? Something, something. Something, something. Lord, gosh. Can you imagine? Come on, man. Come on, man. And then we're looking at hot mustard sauce. See? We as Jamaicans can eat mustard as well, you know. Boy, my hands are getting tired. See how much things this man put in there for me? Marshall and Brown. Marshall and Brown. All the ingredients are from the Caribbean. Red pepper sauce. See, I can drink this. Licking shop on Rastafari to buck hot. Now, what is this? What is this? Rumbo cleat clock. Chutney. Many of you have never even had chutney. Chutney! Sure. My goody gumdrops. And then I'm going even deeper into the science of deepness. Come on, man. Now we're looking at red onion. What's this? Chutney. Come on, man. Come on, man. Then, boy. You see when black people do business? We don't, we don't do things half measured. And all quality, 
More chutney. Chutney, man. What chutney is this? Apple cider. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, you're looking at pineapple rum cake. Uh, tell me you're not salivating right now. Pineapple. And then we've got golden original rum cake. So we've got our hamper from Marshall and Brown. Jeez, brothers and sisters. Come on, man. This is like Harrods. This is like Selfridges, man. What, Jurita, what are you saying, sister? What are you saying, Jurita? What? Oh, my God. That looked so good. I saw the initials. I saw the M and the B. And I was like, Mohammed <laughs> and Bennett. No? Like, our, our surnames, Mohammed and Bennett. And I, thought, I didn't get mine. Where, where mine did it? Mine, mine don't come yet. <laughs> but, no, um, it looked awesome. Um, so many good things in there. Um, the cake. Oh God, that's my thing, you know. No, I'm a cake man. Thing. Believe me, you don't know. I'm a cake man, Jurita. But we I'm too. Share, Uncle. We have to share. Marshall and Brown, Marshall and Brown. <laughs> I'm saying, the quality is like Harrods. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm a Harrods man. You know what I'm saying? But literally, man. But you know what, Jurita? What's even better? We've got the PR, the PR manager here of Marshall and Brown. We've got, we've got Sister Nicola with us. Sister Nicola, come with us, Sister. Lick shop from Rastafari. Come, my queen. Oh, Brother Andrew, Jurita, thank you so much. Um, first of all, um, Brother um, Dr. Carlton Brown sends his apologies. He's more than just this brand. He's out there uplifting so many other businesses and helping us all to grow and shine. So tonight he's actually doing some lectures. So I'm here in his space, but I hope you guys are still going to love the hampers, which I'm seeing all the love is coming in. Um, but thank you so much, Brother Andrew, for allowing Marshall and Brown again this year to be on this platform. It's been a powerful platform. And I saw some people said that the hampers sold out last year and we're going in the same direction again this year. But I have to say a large part of us being so successful last year is exactly this community. So it's not just to come in and just remind you, but also to thank you all for being part of the growth of an amazing, amazing business. So um, Brother Andrew, what I wanted to say is they have grown from strength to strength from when they started on the 30th of January, 2019. So believe it or not people, this business is only three years old, coming into three years old and to land not just one great taste award, which is kind of like an epitome of an award. Oh no, but sister, sister, don't, don't jump that bit. Let us know about the awards, man. Don't jump it. Let us know. <laughs> but what I was going to say, what I was going to say was <clears throat> in 2019, the 30th of January 2019, they launched. And Marshall Brown was founded on two matriarchs, um, brother Car um, Dr. Carlton Brown's mother and mother-in-law. And those were the women under which they wanted to build the legacy of this amazing company that not only represented the best of the great Jamaican traditions, but also the best of a family legacy business. So Dr. Carlton and his wife and actually his entire family have been in business for a number of years. And this business specifically is about the legacy of their name, moving it forward. And can, so, can, I, can I just come in there one second, sister? And it's awesome. I want Bobbins to um, recognize when we talk about Marshall and Brown, it's two black women we're talking about. Even though they're set up by a black man, I'm glad that sister mentioned that it's named after two women that inspired him. And it reminds me of um, when we talk about Timbuktu, one of our greatest um, city, we call it University City, one of our greatest civilizations of Timbuktu. Timbuktu was named after a black woman. You understand that? When we talk about Mansa Musa, Mansa means emperor. Musa was named after his mother. You understand, Bob? This is a matriarchal society we could deal with. So, sister, keep that flow going, beloved. But I wanted just to understand that this is how we do it as people, man. The black woman was celebrated. Carry on. And not only that, um, Brother Andrew, but also it's about the standards, the elegance, where they've raised these guys. Come on. Brand that's what they wanted. And they were always looking for excellence from the very, very beginning. So when they launched this, they didn't just launch the company, just, you know, saying to the community, we're here and we're black owned a business, but they launched it in mind of ensuring that we were in Harrods, in Fortnum, um, in Fortnum and Mason's and Selfridges and all those big stores, which people recognize um, as kind of like the pinnacle of where things should be set, Saks, 
all those brands and they launched it in the Jamaican High Commission as well so they made sure that actually they went to a place which brought, represented their home but also stood for a standard almost like a trademark if you want to say we represent we support this we will push this forward so this has been um, a great brand from 2019 launch but what I wanted to go into is in 2020 the, in 2020 they won their first great taste award and they won that for the jerk house hot mustard sauce the one that brother andrew highlighted that even black people eat mustard they won it for that sauce and that was in within a year of them being established as a brand and that great taste award always looks for high end high excellence of product and in 2021 this year they won three great awards three no, what? say that louder. Say that louder for the people at the back. Just say it louder for the people at the back of the auditorium. Say it again. In 2021, they won three great taste awards. Now, I've worked on food brands before who have been in business for 10 years and they've barely gotten one great taste award. So for them to be in three years in business and then in year two, two, three, going into getting three great taste awards, that is amazing. That is amazing. And yeah. they yeah. won it for an uh, uh, iconic kind of product, a Jamaican product, which is the Blue Mountain Coffee, which they launched in 2020. And they also won it for the beetroot and orange chutney, which I got some Woo! here. Yeah. That one. They won it for that one as well. And then they have a vegan rum truffles which Brother Andrew had in his hamper as well. I can't have them around me because I can't keep them long enough to show anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that to Jurita, man. <laughs> hey, basically, yes. So they won it this year for three. But also on top of that, they're being really featured more nationally now. So in year one, we managed to get them coverage in a number of managed, um, national press. But this year, and they also got in Stylist magazine alongside Fortnum and Mason's and other high-end Harvey Nicks hampers as a Christmas hamper to look out for. The trick is always to keep the consistency going. And guess what? Day before yesterday, we found out they were listed again as one of the top hampers to have in Stylist magazine. And they've also been featured in um, a number of other press, national press as well. So they are growing from strength to strength. Can, can, I, can I just come in on that, sister? I want everyone to remember you're talking about a pan-African company, sister. This is literally set up on the, on the teachings of the Honourable Marcus Messiah Garvey. And it, it, it just shows that as we as a people, when we talk about revolution, when we talk about love, we've got to step up the standards, man. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's, I think this is what sister is breaking down. This is level. There's levels to the game. Carry on, sister. I know we, I've, I've got a short period of time and I don't want to take up time. I know we've got some really amazing um, speakers coming up, which I'm going to stay to listen to, definitely for sure. But Reverend Shock, he also purchased the hamper last year and he spoke about the quality of the rum cakes, which Dr. Um, Brother Andrew shared, but I've also got some here. And Andrita, I will send you a couple myself, personally. I'll send you a couple. Just one second, sis. Hey. Hey, you made my day. Mwah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Okay. What? Where you at though? And she was gone. So these truffles are so delicious, and with the rum, uh, it, it it was it was just magical. And just to see the smile on her face, you know, I just love her to smile, right? Um. So Doc, let me let me ask you about the uh, rum cakes because one of the things that I was we were both shocked about that we have a bakery here in, in town that's supposed to be a really high-end bakery and you can uh on any given day after you uh receive it it's it's kind of dry and and uh you know the some of the flavor is is is, is lost but your rum cakes we open the rum cakes up and the packaging is immaculate again i really wish i could show you fam but it's gone, baby. But <laughs> well, why, 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 why don't I show you? Why don't you show me? And I, as you show, I can tell the story. We open up the rum cake. I think the first one was the pineapple. And the rum cakes are so moist. I, I, I felt like if I had a squeeze the rum cake, 
the rum would have come out of it. That's how moist it was. I don't know how you did that in terms of packaging, but to preserve it, to come from overseas, it you will it, it is a once in a lifetime uh, taste. And once you go uh, uh, Marshall Brown uh, Black, you will never go back. I'm just telling you, this will change the way you look at uh, Africans and high-end, elite, uh, uh, premier uh, African products in the diaspora. This is African. This is African. This is what we do. Go ahead, brother, if you can, share your screen and show us a little something, something. So brothers and sisters, you've got two minutes, my queen, come drop it. No, that's not a problem. So before I leave, um, and I, again, thank everyone for their support and purchasing and sharing and letting other people know. But before I leave, I would just like to add one other thing about Marshall Brown. They hire and they pay at a very good level all the people they work with. So what I'm saying is this, from someone that is very much about the living wage and ensuring, not the minimum wage, the living wage, ensuring that we are paying our children and our children's children well, so that we can go out and build great businesses ourselves. This is what Marshall Brown does. When you're purchasing from this company, you're not only purchasing for them to make a profit, but you're purchasing for them to invest back into our community with other businesses, with other suppliers. They, sub they stock a lot from Jamaica and they pay their staff really, really well. So before I leave, I wanted to say one thing. Marcus Garvey said a quote, if you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. And Marshall and Brown do are not afraid, are not afraid to have confidence to let Jamaica be seen as a luxury brand that they are. We've got a few offers on which um, Jurit and everyone are sharing right now. So please log on to their Instagram page and you can find it there. Um, the chocolates are sales tonight's last offer, but you can see them all there. But thank you all so much. And thank you, Brother Andrew. And thank you, Jurita, for helping me to share this information across. Thank you. Before, before you go, I know Jurita, I know Jurita probably, yeah, exactly. Don't worry, Jurita. I knew you was going to want to come. Come in, my queen. <laughs> Um, a quick question for, for those of us who are trying to go vegan. Um, yes. uh, I've got Dee Wallace asking, do they do vegan hampers or cakes? I know you do vegan chocolate. How, how are we going on with the, the rest of the range? Are we getting... So, perfect question. Thank you so much. Um, so a lot of the range is currently vegan. Dr. Carl himself is got leaning that way himself. So he's trying to create that. I think the rum cakes are not because they have honey in them currently. So that's one of the things that's not vegan, but a large percentage of the brand, I'm gonna say 70% of their brand is vegan. So what I would say is if you shoot me an email at um, media at marshallandbrown.co.uk, um, and if you want to have something that's a vegan specific, let me know and I'll see what he can do. I'm more than happy to help. Would you be able to be kind enough just to put your email in the chat and then yeah, I will absolutely. keep copying that with all the discount codes for everybody else and I'll keep dropping it in, okay? so I certainly will. Thank, thank you. you. I, I, I also saw, Jurita, I don't know if you picked up on that. I know we've got people from around the world and one of the questions asks, do you do shipping? Yes, that Rev, Rev shop, shop purchased and, um, and it goes to Jamaica, it goes back to Jamaica, it goes to the States, it goes to Canada. The only thing I would say is um, bear in mind of Brexit and everything else, shipping might take a little bit longer. So order early so that it can be shipped early enough for people to get it in time for Kwanzaa, Christmas and everything else. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> um, was it, uh, oh, sister, before you go, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I mean, I want to say to Sister Simone, it's her first time today and probably other people's first time, what you should expect from a Hidden Truth platform um, is power and positivity. We don't focus on negativity. We don't focus on just the problem. If we talk about problems, we always come with solutions. So we're about black propaganda on a positive level. Now, Sister, you've been very... Um, Sister Nicola, you've been very humble when it comes to yourself. Um, <laughs> please, sister, before you go, let us know about the work that you do, because there may be people with companies on this platform right now or with businesses that, you know, they could really do with your expertise. Just give a little bit about yourself sister, and what you do. Um, 
Dr. Carlton actually warned me you might do this. And I'm very quiet behind the scenes. I do work in public relations. I think the best thing for me to say about the work I do is this. I believe in the voice of um, the, the use of our voice to be able to tell our stories and to communicate to build successful businesses. I don't know if many people um, on the platform know of um, Dr. Claude Anderson, I'm sure they do, and the power of powernomics in that space and the importance of being able to control our media so we can control our own narrative. <clears throat> And for me, one of the biggest failings of our businesses is because we don't have the platforms to talk about our businesses um, effectively so we can continue to grow and thrive. And so a large piece of my work around public relations, the work we do is working with ethical companies that are going to be contributing to generations to come and build legacy businesses. So with, for instance, the pandemic that we've had right now, yeah. the first thing everyone the first thing everyone wants to cut is public relations or their marketing. I'm saying if you've got a good business, a good foundation, which is what Martian Brown has, you don't have to cut it. You can reach out to companies like myself. We've got free workshops, resources to help people. And then for people that want to grow their business and have the investment, we can lead them in that way as well. So for me right now, the focus is always about ensuring that if you've got a business out there and you've got good foundations, do not let marketing and PR stop you from reaching out there. There's different ways you can communicate your business. So thank you, Brother Andrew, for allowing me to share that. But um, yeah, right now, let's focus on Marshall and Brown and let's get them sold out in record time. <laughs> Rather than since you, you've been given the marching orders from Sister Nicola, she's given us the march. Let's make sure we support brothers and sisters because this is fantastic. I've got Sister Evelyn that just said, absolutely amazing. Well Thank done. You. i got Sister Joyce says, wonderful. She's dropping ones. We'll definitely purchase a hamper. One love. Um, I love their community approach. Brilliant um, presentation, Sister Nicola. Um, I mean, there's so many people are just coming in. Um, and you know, they're just saying absolutely fantastic, sister. Um, it's awesome. So, come on, let's support Marshall and Brown, they are top quality end of um products and manufacturing. Okay, brothers and sisters, and that's why they're winning all the awards. All the awards they're winning. So, let's support them and let's go forward. We're gonna have a powerful night tonight, brothers and sisters. I can feel it in my bones already. So, as Sister Jurita stated, she'll be putting on. The details, I'm not too sure if Sister China's with us as well, but we've got two fantastic people that work together in making sure that we are kept up to date with the polls. And so if you miss one note, you'll catch it again. Don't worry, brothers and sisters. Jurita, Sister Jurita and Sister China will always keep supplies. So just keep your eyes on the chat room at the same time. You're with your boy, the investigator Hidden Truth. We're slowly approaching 300 people. Let's get, you know, I know there's been traffic jams with the rain and whatever, okay? We want as many people on platform as possible because we are literally about educating the masses of our people. Brothers and sisters, I must say this. I love this platform. you got to understand, not because, you know, we, 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 we opened this platform. I love this platform because the kind of people that are attracted to this platform are those who are literally so humble, but yet all are wanted to do their part in helping other people. One of the greatest things I can think that we can produce on this platform is can, can be covered in one word. That word is empathy. It's been able to feel what other people are feeling. And um, brother Richard Mohammed came on the platform last week and he spoke passionately about his niece and um, helping to save her life, brothers and sisters. She's the daughter of a phenomenal reggae singer who literally he used his art to uplift our people. And brothers and sisters, I'm so happy to announce that from that one show we done last week, brothers and sisters, we raised in excess of a thousand pounds. Jurita, nearly 1,100 pounds, Jurita. Can you imagine just on a two, three hour show? Yeah, and we only spoke about the sister for 10 minutes. Brothers and sisters, can you please give yourself a pat on your back and put some ones into the plan because this is showing that we're not just about talking. Many of you went into your pockets, brothers and sisters. And I'm telling you, man, when we talk about revolution, true revolution ain't about being on the street and charting against the police. True revolution, brothers and sisters, is that you feel empathy to your brothers and sisters. Your life may be okay, 
but you know that your life is not okay if one of your brothers and sisters are in pain. And so brothers and sisters, we, we, I've had messages from Baba Richard, I've had messages from their family, and they're just saying, oh my God, we cannot believe on this one show, we raised up nearly 1,100 pounds, just speaking on it for 10 minutes. And the same passion I want you, that you gave to this particular sister is the same passion I want you to do for our people, man. Let's really go the extra mile to celebrate. And, you know, because many people, they say, oh, you know, when you go to conscious programs or conscious events, it's all about talking. We, we talk a good word, but we don't really do anything. Come on, brothers and sisters. This platform is about consciousness, but you cannot put us into that category, man. We are about talking, yes, but we're about changing and improving the lives of our brothers and sisters. So I really wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to um, the Hidden Truth family for raising up over 1,100 pounds. And Sister D Morgan says solutions, that's right. Sister Chanel says brilliant, well done. Um, Sister Helen says, this is fantastic. Um, D Morgan says, brilliant unity is strength. And that's what we're talking about, man. And that's why I love Hidden Truth. I love every Tuesday that you come onto the platform, brothers and sisters, but keep spreading the word. 